Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another. Recently, I heard that uh, the Lord appeared to one, one mortal being, one mortal, uh, uneducated, illiterate being. And uh, the Lord has decided to upgrade him from angel to messiahship. But according to him, he hasn't accepted the title yet. So he is just waiting. Close my button for me. The anointing has opened my buttons. One of them, one prophet, slept with his associate pastor's wife before wedding. And then the girl was pregnant before the wedding and made a covenant with the girl, keep quiet, I'll take care of you, I'll give you money, and so on. But the Holy Ghost started tormenting and harassing the girl. So the girl confessed to her husband. The husband told the other elders of the church, and then they were trying to bring the prophet to book. He will not submit. Remember, I've told you already that they, they don't know anything called submission. So, the thing went media. Viral. Because of that, he cursed the girl. When the baby was born, the baby was... Uh, how do you call it? Disabled, the baby was uh, deformed. Then he went boasting. He said, because the girl lied on him, he cursed the baby. Nonsense. Why didn't you curse the woman? Why the baby? But, and do you know why he cursed and it came to pass? You know why? I've told you already, Deuteronomy chapter 13. He just exercised his spiritual authority and control, satanic or falsehood or projections over the girl. That's why it came to pass. How could the girl have saved himself, herself when she was cursed? She must run to a man who is higher than that man. A man who works in highest authority than the man. He must go to an altar which is more powerful than the man's altar. Because God is powerful than the devil. Yeah. Are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping? That's all she should have done. From today I declare and the witch and wizard and spirit and human being who has spoken negative things about you. Clap your hands and say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, I cancel it. Prophecies are spoken by holy men. Not people who are sleeping with their associate pastor's wives. One of them, one of the prophets. You know the songs they've been singing in their church? Hmm. Tell it that thing is serious. No one Christian song. And the people will be dancing. So, so journalists went and challenged him and said, why is it that your church, you don't sing gospel songs and you'll be singing these people, these people, these people. You know what he said? He said, how holy are the gospel singers? And that the gospel singers are even sinners more. So, these ones whose songs I sing are more holier. How? And the church is full. Leading people to destruction and death. 
that it is possible for prophecies to come by man's interpretation and by man's will and by man's words. And we don't call them prophecies anymore. We now call them projections. I, I, uh, uh, if we don't pray, a president is going to die. A former president is going to die. That is not a big news. There are so many um, former presidents. Some of them are old. And every year people die in Ghana anyway. And the Bible says it is appointed unto man to die once after that judgment. So as for death, all death will what? Eyes closed. So... <laughs> Every painter be painting. So we are doing analysis now. We are doing analysis. We are doing analysis. So a former president is going to die if we don't pray. To pray to who? To who? To God. But if God has chosen to kill a former president, who, you are going to pray to him to, to reverse it. He has decided to kill. Do you want to learn to draw and create amazing artwork that will wow everyone around you? Right now? But the truth is, God has not decided. They are prophesying their will. Human interpretation. According to 1 Peter, chapter number, 2 Peter chapter number 1 verse 19. They are projecting their will that Somebody, a former president should die so that references will be made to them that they gave the word. Number two. And if no president dies, they have already told you, if you don't pray, so one vampire, so one who are not just as somebody prayed, who is that person who prayed? They will say they. The family members came to see them and they prayed. And they reversed. Hey, Randy Jesus. And come say throw those. So, so, so you, you see the simple tricks in the in the in the whole thing. Every, every, every important chief king is going to die. There are several of them. As we talk to you right now, one of them is in hospital already. Preparing to die. Right now. True prophecies are declared by the Holy Spirit by holy men. One of the characteristics of a true prophet is you must be holy. Holy. I told you when my people are thinking, let them think. Oh. We are getting to the place of thinking now. When they give these projections, you don't out of fear. Run to them. They say bring money and you are giving them money. They will compound your problem. Go to a higher authority. Go to a higher uh, 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 altar. And plead your case. Media men, I know after these teachings, you'll be calling me and asking me questions to answer on radio, TV. I some crunch anchor, I won't mind you, so don't even attempt it. I will not I won't mind, so don't attempt it. Oh, 
I know. Hey, hello, Apostle Jonathan Kranchankra. Uh, yes, it's a Sunday. You man, church, let me pa. I'm what day? Me pa church, church, let me hear, mommy. In church, I'm one of them. I'm here I am live on television as I'm speaking right now. Live on television. 44 nations are listening to me now on live streaming. As I'm talking to you now. 